time put a photo on their the cover of their latest edition where you have uh, migrants as they like to call them uh, being rescued and uh, the people walking over dead bodies and they just take pictures and they just show it like this people these are people who died and uh, to me, it is crazy how when you have dead African people or dead Arab people, they just show them like that. I don't know why, because they're poor, because who knows. And when uh, there's uh, people die in Europe because of a, a, a bomb blasting or terrorism or something, they never show them. And this difference of treatment really strikes me as strange. Occidental media. But uh, there's a lot of people right now, uh, and there's a lot of politicians who are basing their... their we, have the, we have the French election, so... And everybody's basing their whole strategy on, on this, on racism, on uh, the migrants who are going to invade our country and blah blah blah, vote for us, etc. And uh, I'm wondering if the people ask themselves this simple question if you build weapons, sell weapons, and go create wars in the other side of the world for your own personal gains, which is the oil, the all done, the, 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 all these minerals and all these raw materials that you need to make your occidental world, our occidental world, work? Why do you complain when all these refugees come to your shores? Because they are flying away from wars that you're creating with your weapons that you built. So... I don't get it. Why everybody is like all these so-called dictators? You put them in place. You help them go there. Thirty years ago, and um, it is it is incredible to me how people have people don't know their history, people don't know their facts, people don't research. They just act and vote on emotion. You want things to change. You don't want you don't want all these savages at your door, and stop getting rich by selling all these submarines, all these missiles, all these weapons, all these these these, these, these war airplanes, jets, uh, bombs, and all these things. Because yeah, the, the, it comes back to you. It's called car. My boy Fred Chester is here from the UK. Long time I haven't been in the UK. Well, he's here in Lisbon, so I'm gonna take him to one of my favorite restaurants, Guilty, and chill a bit. Then we, we're gonna club. Just a little bit. Oh, bro, my Uber today is Nissan Qashqai. I meet fans in the street all the time. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Ciao, pleasure. Yeah. yeah. I'm with the Red King, the chocolate factory, <laughs> the pussy liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from London, Mr. Fred Chester. That's me. <laughs> en jailleur de vos soirées parisiennes. Fut un temps. Since the 90s. <laughs> he looks 20, but he's 52. <laughs> Rolling. Yeah. Fred Chester. Now I'm taking my boys 
to Bairro Alto where the things happen at night. Your body's calling me So caramel and curvy Yeah, it's the bathroom uh, toilet selfie. Yo, Asia, Asia, patrol, patrol, patrol.